Do you find yourself spending more time with your family and wondering how you can get involved with family game night? In today's video, we're going to discuss accessible ways to play some board games and playing cards for the blind and visually impaired. So one of the things we want to show off is I got these large print bicycle playing cards from MaxiAids.com and I'll leave a link to the website down below. But it's a specialized website that sells accessibility items for those that are blind, visually impaired, and deaf. And the cards are large print and black on white or red on white. And as you can see, these are black on a white background, pretty big, which makes it easier to see it. And then me, her, her red font on a white background. Right. And they also lost, uh, sorry. They also sell dots where it's inverted cutters as well. Right. So it can be uh, the white font on a black background or a red font on a black background. It depends on what type of contrast you need to make it easier for, to see and playing card games like poker, rummy, concentration, do fish, war, etc. Yep. So, besides card games, a lot of people also have trouble seeing board games such as Scrabble, Chapters, or like in front of me, chess. I got in chess in high school and I used to have a tournament style chess set but when my vision got worse I took a longer to see the pieces and the white and black played in with the white and black board. So when we went to the National Federation for the Blind I went to independent marketing, market, uh, market, sorry, and I was able to buy this chess set. Ooh. So this one has the black pieces and instead of white you have yellow and the board has pegs as well as each square being either indented or standard so that way when you're moving a piece it's stabilized so you don't have to worry about being knocked over and you can also use the squares to count how many moves you want to move each piece. Yeah, and I feel like that the pieces are peg hold as well because if you're touching your pieces to try and figure out where they are on the board, right, that prevents it from being knocked over, like you said. And another thing is that each piece on the top has a carve of what they are. So oh, cool. In modern chess, usually like you see in Tilder and Sween are the king, the queen, the rook, and the knight, but the pawns and bishop all felt the same, or all the same size. Right. For this one, your pawns are smaller than your back row, and your back row, each one has a different top. I never noticed that. So, yeah. So, in the way, if you want to play chess or chapters or any other kind of board game, you can get it more accessorized for yourself. Yeah, and I also saw on Amazon that they have an accessible version of checkers and it's <laughs> black it's black on red the color scheme right and then the board is white and black like your chest set and all the yellow? yeah sorry there's, there's, there's yellow and black not white. i always thought it was white and i'm colorblind so i'm sorry yeah. but yeah it's yellow and black board with like a gray black and then like a dark dark red right so you'd think like oh the colors are too close and similar but like your pieces there, all the edges of the checker pieces have bridges on them. I feel like the problem that I have with playing checkers is when you do chain, when you chain them, mm -hmm. is being able to tell which ones are chains and which ones are normal because of the symbol on the back as we face it up. Right, but from what I saw on the Amazon checker set, the symbol of the crown is engraved. It's engraved, so it's like okay. you can feel 
that crown symbol right. will know that piece is your king. So like on this, how you can feel Otis is queen because it has a little crown, this is chain, etc. Right. So when you go on the website for Maxi Aids, there is a Hirsch bar at the top and it says Hirsch with a little magnifying glass. And then you can type in whatever you're looking for. And then there's also little tabs all across the top of the web page where you can click on it and go into different categories. But you can also click the tab that says blind and visually impaired. And then there are all the categories for accessible items for those that are blind and visually impaired. And then there's another tab for those that are deaf or hard of hearing. Right. And there is other stuff on the website besides gaming, which we may cover in our video. Yeah, it can be dangerous. It can be just as bad as going on Amazon. <laughs> you would know, wouldn't you? The, the only thing I would caution is that their shipping fee is pretty high. But they do offer something that you can't find on Amazon. So... I would definitely like go on the website to see what you're looking for and then see if other websites like uh, Walmart, Target, Amazon, or you just do a Google search and see if any other company offers it and compare pricing. So I hope these tips and suggestions were helpful to you and you can apply them for your own family game night. Uh, another topic that ties into this is what if there's some games that you can't make accessible and you feel like you're a burden to those around you. Cindy of Seeing Blind posted a video recently brushing on this topic and she pointed out positive ways to use those in your community so that you don't have the feeling of being a burden because you're not just relying on one person, like your significant other, or a family member to help you, but instead, other members of your community, like your neighbors, or those that you might know through church or school. So her link will, her link for that video will be down in the description below, and I hope that these videos were helpful to, to you. If you think the videos were helpful, please like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye! Bye.